full path control is an area where EdgeCam shines. This tech tip shows how to create NC code for specific sections of toolpath in our CAM file. You're watching the simulation of a completed EdgeCam milling process. This machining setup is programmed with all the toolpath there for face mill, roughing the part all over, and then moving into using a single finishing tool to finish mill all the inside detail as well as moving into the outer part. Following this tool, you'll be seeing some of the drilling, the deburring, and then finally probing at the end of the process to measure what's been machined. Here in the detail view, we see some of the drilling work. That includes tapping and also includes deburr. After deburr all over, then a probe's called up to measure critical dimensions on this part. Now, at the end of the process, when simulation shows a process that looks like what we want to do, we would generate NC code and send that code to the shop floor. In this case, the NC code is going to have all of the tool path, including all of the tools. Pretty typical edge cam milling program. Now, in this case, we got some feedback from the shop that they would like an isolated program to do some rework on just the finished tool. When we go to generate code, there is an option to code a single tool. So, in this case, we'll code just T5. We'll overwrite the existing NC code file and notice that now the new NC code only includes tool 5. None of the other tools in the CAM sequence are coded out. Generating code with a single tool is very easy. But what about when there's multiples? The next scenario we'll deal with is where we want the drills included in the code file, which is multiple tools. So we're going to head over to miscellaneous, choose machine M functions, and choose the NC code output command. This command offers choices to suspend and also to resume. So I'm going to begin with the suspend command, which is thrown to the bottom of the list. I'll put it up at the top. I want to not output code at the beginning of the program. And then I'm going to choose the place where I want to resume. Right here, we'll insert before this drill, and we'll go back up and issue the command and say resume. The net effect is that the code between the suspend and resume will not be included in the resulting NC code file. Let's go have a look. So now when I generate code, keep the same NC code file and replace it. The resulting NC code begins at the drill, so we can see that the tool list shows all the tools used in the original sequence, but we're actually beginning the code at the drill, exactly where we asked to. As we scroll down, we see the code ends with the probe at the end, exactly like we wanted to. If we back up just a little bit, I want to next highlight where the tap occurs. Let's make that optional, because we might not need to rework the tap. There's yet another command that can be really useful. I'm going to insert in here. We'll go back up to miscellaneous and machine M functions and choose block skip. So with block skip, I'm able to trigger block delete characters in the code for certain events in the program, such as skim cuts, optional work, and things like that. And similar to the previous command we showed, you turn the mode on and it's in effect until you turn it off. So I've copied the command with a quick drag and drop. We'll now turn the mode off. So those commands sandwich around the tap cycle. And after pressing OK, the resulting NC code now has block skip characters to give us flexibility on the shop floor to skip that. Now let's go look at a turning example. In this example, we have a twin spindle machine. There's some main spindle work done. And then we'll jump forward in simulation to where there's a bar pull with the sub spindle to pull material out, followed by cross-drilled holes. 
and then a part off tool comes up, the sub spindle is re engaged, we have part off, and then the rest of the machining process on the sub spindle. In this scenario, the shop floor is asking for an NC code file that only contains the sub spindle commands. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to EdgeCam and use the NC code output command, similar to what we did in the mill, to bypass the main spindle work. So I'll issue an NC code output, we'll say resume when we get to the sub spindle, take the insert marker off. Now we'll move up to the top of the sequence and we'll issue an NC code output and set it to suspend at the beginning where the main spindle work in this program is done. After turning that off and generating an NC code file, we'll notice that the NC code file now contains only the subspindle work. Now, while the tool list in this program shows all the tools used, notice that we get down to tool one offset 51 where the subspindle work begins, and that is the first block of tool path from the CAM file included in this NC code file. The key point is that EdgeCam allows us to easily do this without ever needing to edit NC code. Do you have questions on this or other topics? Please contact us to discuss. We would love to hear from you.